He's made statements to the National Wrestling Alliance and promoters throughout the United States that I have avoided him. I That's have right. Run away. He's made that statement to me, right. buddy, by the way, and I was going to ask you about it. Well, Georgie, I'm here to back that statement up. I have never run away from this man. I've had an offer for $15,000 in Albuquerque, New Mexico to wrestle him. I've had an offer for $25,000 in Pittsburgh. Well, naturally, I'm out for money. So I'll take the shot in Pittsburgh, and if they don't want it there, I'll take it in Albuquerque. But I do know one thing. I won't run away from him. I'll run at him. I'll put the title and the belt on the line any time that they come up with the price that I want. Well, buddy, that's real good to know, and uh, I'm sure that this makes it official, and I'm hoping that we can see that match. Heavyweight champion Rogers, in his most recent meeting with Brazil, drop-kicked the challenger out of the ring to retain his title. The two battlers get things moving in a hurry in this fight to the finish. A brief rest period results after one wrestler pins the other. But the winner can only emerge when one grappler is unable to continue under his own power. Buddy Rogers wins the first fall according to the Texas death match rules. Bobo Brazil finds a new way to play paddle ball as he gets the perfect recoil from Rogers' head. There's not much Buddy can do about it either because Brazil is also making use of his famous forehead smashing cocoa butt a hold that hospitalized Rogers twice in the last six months. Brazil gives Rogers a good knock on the noggin and down goes the champ. Brazil wins the fall with a real coconut crusher. The activities in the ring are just too inviting for Killer Austin to sit by and watch as he puts in his two cents. He almost loses it when Rogers finally catches up with this intruder. Austin gets in his licks along with Brazil, but Rogers bounces off the mat to give Austin a healthy piece of his mind. You can't say these wrestlers don't use their heads. When things finally return to normal, Brazil continues his atom smashing performance on the head of Buddy Rogers. Final clunk, and Buddy is almost completely in orbit. Brazil applies the finishing touches, and Brazil pounces on his opponent. And that's the end of this fall. Both wrestlers are still able to continue, so they have to keep wrestling. Or should we say, keep banging away. Brazil still has things pretty much his own way as he puts his feet to work with flying drop kicks. But Bobo misses the big payoff, but he doesn't use his head, and it looks like a very costly mistake to make. The ropes become the decisive factor in this match. Brazil is unable to continue because of the injury sustained on his drop kick that never found its mark. Bobo Brazil is counted out, and Buddy Rogers is ruled the winner and still champion of the Professional Wrestlers Guild.